Presented by Listen Headlines. Latest financial news from trusted sources. Thorax Live. November 1, 1902 America New York. Goldman Sachs RBA Preview. And watching for a UD. CAD downside ahead. This snippet from Goldman Sachs via EFX for bank trade ideas. Check out EFX Plus. Bolding is mine. The Reserve Bank of Australia statement is due at 0330 GMT today, the 2nd of November 2021. New York Times Business, November 1, 1901 America New York, Rivian gets closer to IPO, seeking over $50 billion evaluation. The company updated registration documents with the Securities and Exchange Commission on Monday. Rivian makes an upscale pickup truck and a sport utility vehicle, both designed to be driven off-road. The Library of Economics and Liberty. November 1, 1851 America New York, moving toward normal. As regular readers of my posts know, I oppose lockdowns, favor vaccines, oppose government hyping the threat of COVID to children, and oppose government mask mandates. Thorax Live. November 1, 1845 America New York, Cleveland Federal Reserve Branch Inflation Rate Indicator Surges, again, but more. The Cleveland Fed's median PCE inflation rate is rocketing higher, again. The Fed branch publishing its inflation indicator ahead of the U.S. Federal Reserve's Federal Open Market Committee beginning its two-day meeting Tuesday 2 November 2021. Thorex Live. November 1, 1831 America New York, Australian inflation expectations hit their highest for seven years. Data published Monday by Australia's Roy Morgan from their survey for October 2021. Expected inflation 4.8% annually over the next two years this is up 0.3% points, and the highest inflation expectations for seven years, since November 2014. Thorex Live. November 1, 1830 America New York, Australia Consumer Confidence Weekly Index 108.4, prior 106.8. ANZ Roy Morgan Australia Consumer Confidence Weekly Index ANZ highlight the inflation expectations results from the weekly survey. Thorex Live. November 1, 1754 America New York, New Zealand building permits for September minus 1.9% meter per meter, prior plus 3.8%. New Zealand data, not shifting the NZD much at all. Global Economy. November 1. 1743 America New York, first FT, Barclays Chief Jiz Staley to step down. Plus, Japanese stocks rise on Kushida election victory and Biden's climate pledges undermined by holdout senator. Thorex Live, November 1, 1741 America New York, Brexit, UK, France fishing dispute talks will continue Thursday. Latest headlines via Reuters on the fishing fracas, Bolding Mine. French EU Affairs Minister Bone says France received first signals from UK authorities to speed up talks, an answer to latest French proposals. Thorex Live, November 1, 1736 America New York, AUD traders head up, it's a partial holiday in Australia today. And the RBA is meeting. It's a holiday in Australia's second largest population city of Melbourne today. For a horse race, not kidding, Melbourne Cup Day. Australian markets are open as normal but liquidity will be thinned somewhat, especially in the local afternoon when eyes turn to the race. Thorex Live, November 1, 1736 America New York, NZD Traders, heads up for the GDT Dairy Auction coming up Tuesday 2 November 2021. To gain any traction the Dairy Auction should really be renamed, Cowquin or something like that. The price would go to 50 bazillion too. Ah well, back to reality. Global Dairy Trade, GDT, auction begins at midday in London on Tuesday. New York Times Business, November 1, 1722 America New York, PG&E says it faces a federal inquiry and $1.15 billion in losses over the Dixie Fire. The California utility already faces state criminal charges over the blaze this year, the second largest wildfire ever recorded in the state. The Dixie Fire burned more than 963,000 acres of forest land and leveled most of the Gold Rush era town of Greenville, Calif. Forex Live, November 1, 1710 America New York, Forex Live Americans FX News Wrap, dollar ticks lower as FOMC decision awaited. 
Forex news for North American trading on November 1, 2021 The US dollar moved modestly lower with the main declines versus the CHF, EUR and NZD. The greenback gained against the GBP, which had traders worried about France-UK fishing license rights tensions. Daily FX Market News November 1, 1700 American New York, s and Amp. P500 scrapes small gain, but Russell 2000 comes alive and explodes higher. The s and Amp. P500 began the week with no clear direction, but the Russell 2000 exploded higher and came within striking distance of its record high amid accelerating rotation into small and mid caps. Forex Live. November 1, 1653 America New York. What you should know about the stages of grief, RBA Monetary Policy Preview Edition. The Reserve Bank of Australia Policy Board meets today, Tuesday the 2nd of November 2021. Statement due at 0330 GMT. Later, at 0550 GMT, Deputy Governor Dibel is speaking. Will be a panel participant at the Impact X Summit in Sydney on technological solutions for climate issues. Forex Live. November 1, 1648, America, New York. Trade Ideas Thread. Tuesday, the 2nd of November, 2021. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, all. Any charts, technical analysis, trade ideas, thoughts, views, Forex Live traders would like to share and discuss with fellow Forex Live traders, please do so. Forex Live, November 1, 1630 America New York, RBNZ Governor Orr says unsustainable house price rises pose a monetary, financial stability challenges. Reserve Bank of New Zealand Governor Orr is speaking on housing issues. Note that the RBNZ have already begun levying macroprudential measures to try to calm the house price upward spiral in NZ. Forex Live, November 1, 1629 America New York, new records for the three major indices, again. 39th record close for the Nasdaq, 40th for the Dow and 60th for the s and Amp. P the final numbers are showing. The biggest winner was the small cap Russell 2000. It rose 60.93 points or 2.65% at 2,358.12. New York Times Business, November 1, 1620 America New York, even as Biden pushes clean energy, he seeks more oil production. President Biden acknowledged, it seems like an irony, that he is asking energy-rich nations to boost oil production as he implores the world to tackle climate change. President Biden left the stage after making remarks at the close of the G20 summit in Rome on Sunday.